Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everybody, welcome back to a quick beer review. It is Wookie Jack season. I am fired up that this beer is back from Firestone Walker. Look at the can art on this. It's amazing. Uh, I have been very vocal over the years about my love for black IPAs. That's what this beer is. Uh, it is 8.3%. Is that right? 8.3% alcohol by volume. Uh, Firestone Walker, Pastor Rolls, California. Are they somewhere else now too? Maybe. Um, canned on October 17th. So we are just under a month in the can. Time of recording. Um, this beer was on sale, or they were advertising it as on sale. Uh, eleven ninety nine for a six pack. So doesn't seem bad for a, se a seasonal beer, in my opinion. I don't know. You guys might think that's too much. I have no idea. But yeah, black IPAs, um, such a rad style. So underappreciated, in my opinion. People just don't care about them. Don't talk about them. People rarely, rarely brew them anymore. It seems. Um, I would love to see more black IPAs, but if shit ain't selling, <laughs> people aren't gonna make it. So uh, this beer. Looks like a stout or a porter, um, but it does have some like of the ruby red tones in the bottom uh, part of this glass. Finger of khaki head. It looks awesome. I'm so excited. I love rye IPAs. I love black IPAs. I love this beer. So let's shove our fat nose in it. Let's see what it smells like. Gosh, this beer smells so good. It's, I say this every time I drink a, a black IPA because there's a lot of people who watch these videos who have never had one. It really kind of doesn't make sense in your mind because you get this cool like roast from the malts. It's a dark beer, um, but there's so much citrus. It's like sweet oranges. It's like if you, I don't even know the best way to describe it. Maybe in the past I've said like, it's, it's like if you had some sort of like, citrus like gelato and you had it with like coffee it's not the the beer is not like heavy coffee i'm just trying to like give you some sort of idea of like what it smells like i ate a lot of um gelato when i was in italy and a lot of the dairy-free stuff is um fruit so there's lemon there's we had grapefruit gelato there was um like a tangerine gelato i think um so having that kind of like s smelling something like this with the roast and that it, re it reminds me of that there's a little bit of like spice, like it's not alcohol heat, but it's just like, there's, it's the rye, I think. But yeah, it's just like a mild roast with a ton of citrus. And like, there's, um, like, a uh, I don't know if it's like minty, maybe the rye is giving that kind of a vibe. Um, it smells like sprucey floral. It smells fucking awesome. Like it's over 8%, it does not smell like booze. Cheers. That beer's so delicious. The cool part about this beer is like with that roast that you're getting, the bitterness that's on the middle of your tongue seems so appropriate with it. Um, and that bitterness comes with a cool, sprucey, piney, floral earthiness. And I think you get like a bit of that, like rice spice. That's part of like what your tongue is perceiving is like bitterness. It's just like that rice spice with the hops. There's so much like awesome, sweet citrus right at the front of your tongue. And as it goes across, it just like <laughs> meshes with the, like the roast. It's, it's crazy. It's like, if you were to eat like a, like an orange cookie with a cup of coffee, but don't think coffee, like intense, bitter coffee. This beer is prickly on your palate. For being 8.3%, it drinks light. It does not feel heavy. Um, and it feels like pretty dry on the finish. That just, the hops and the roast are so fucking awesome. It's like when you drink a porter or a, or a stout and you get roast in those beers, usually it's accompanied by like a heavy sweetness. Um, a lot of times like the stouts that I like, um, they'll be um, very like chocolate forward. Um, but it's fun to have something like this, that when you're getting roast, you're getting like, like a hot punch with it. That citrus just works all that sweet orange. And then like on the middle of your tongue, that the piney, sprucey, um, like spicy earthiness. It's rad. This beer is fucking awesome. Um, 
I have a six pack of this. Will I buy more of this? Probably not just because of the ABV. I just, I'm not into drinking over 8% beers over and over these days. Um, but this will sit in the fridge and I'll have it for the rest of November and, you know, into the holidays. It's good, good stuff. I hope people are going out and grabbing this. Like if you've never had a, a black IPA before, you need to experience it, especially one like this, because it's done really, really well. So uh, that's Wookie Jack, the 2024 vintage from Firestone Walker. Please drink this beer. It behooves you to check it out. So if you're a fan, let's talk about it. If not, go drink it. Come back. We'll talk about it. Appreciate you guys watching. See you soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.